Sweet potatoes are not only delicious, but also a rewarding crop to grow in your garden. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of selecting the right varieties, preparing the soil, planting, caring for, and harvesting sweet potatoes. By following these steps, you'll be on your way to enjoying a bountiful harvest of this nutritious and versatile root vegetable. When it comes to planting sweet potatoes, selecting the right variety is crucial for a successful harvest. There are numerous sweet potato varieties available, each with its own unique characteristics and growing requirements. Some popular varieties include Beauregard, Covington, Jewel, and Hannah. Consider factors such as your climate, soil type, and desired taste and texture when choosing a variety. Beauregard is a widely grown variety known for its excellent flavor and high yields. It thrives in warm climates and is resistant to many common sweet potato diseases. Covington is another popular choice, prized for its uniform shape, smooth skin, and deep orange flesh. It performs well in a variety of growing conditions and is suitable for both home gardens and commercial production. Jewel sweet potatoes are renowned for their rich, sweet flavor and vibrant orange flesh. This variety requires a longer growing season and performs best in warmer climates with plenty of sunlight. Hannah sweet potatoes, on the other hand, have a pale yellow flesh and a slightly drier texture compared to other varieties. They are prized for their versatility in cooking and are well suited for baking, boiling, or mashing. Before selecting a variety, consider your local climate and growing conditions. Some sweet potato varieties are better suited to warmer regions with long growing seasons, while others can tolerate cooler climates and shorter growing periods. Additionally, consider your culinary preferences and intended use for the sweet potatoes. Whether you prefer them baked, mashed, or roasted, there's a sweet potato variety out there to suit your needs. By choosing the right variety for your garden, you'll set yourself up for a successful harvest of delicious sweet potatoes. Once you've selected the sweet potato variety that best suits your growing conditions and culinary preferences, it's time to prepare the planting site. Sweet potatoes thrive in loose, well-draining soil with a pH level between 5.8 and 6.2. Start by choosing a sunny location in your garden that receives at least six to eight hours of sunlight per day. Before planting, it's essential to amend the soil to ensure optimal growing conditions for your sweet potatoes. Incorporate plenty of organic matter, such as compost or aged manure, into the soil to improve its structure and fertility. This will provide essential nutrients for healthy sweet potato growth and help retain moisture during the growing season. Sweet potatoes prefer slightly acidic soil, so it's a good idea to test the pH level of your soil before planting. You can easily do this using a soil testing kit available at most garden centers or by sending a soil sample to a local agricultural extension office for analysis. If necessary, adjust the pH level of your soil by adding lime to raise the pH or sulfur to lower it. And once you've prepared the soil, it's time to create planting mounds or rows for your sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are typically planted in rows spaced about three feet apart with each plant placed 12 to 18 inches apart within the row. Alternatively, you can plant sweet potatoes in raised beds or containers filled with well-draining soil. To create planting mounds, use a hoe or garden shovel to mound up the soil into raised rows about 8 to 12 inches high and 12 to 18 inches wide. Space the mounds about 3 feet apart to allow plenty of room for the sweet potato vines to spread. If planting in rows, dig trenches about 6 to 8 inches deep and space 3 feet apart, then fill the trenches with compost or aged manure to create nutrient-rich planting beds. Before planting, it's a good idea to water the soil thoroughly to ensure it's evenly moist. This will help the sweet potato slips establish roots more quickly once planted. Once the planting site is prepared, you're ready to plant your sweet potato slips and watch them grow into delicious tubers. When planting sweet potatoes, it's essential to start with healthy sweet potato slips, which are young shoots that sprout from mature sweet potatoes. Sweet potato slips can be purchased from garden centers or online suppliers, or you can grow your own from sweet potatoes stored from the previous year's harvest. To grow your own sweet potato slips, select a few healthy sweet potatoes from the grocery store or farmer's market. Place the sweet potatoes in a warm, humid environment with indirect sunlight, such as a sunny windowsill or a greenhouse. In a few weeks, the sweet potatoes will begin to sprout shoots from their eyes. Once the sweet potato slips have grown to about 6 to 12 inches long, they're ready to be planted in the garden. Before planting, gently remove the slips from the sweet potatoes by carefully twisting them off or cutting them with a clean knife. Be sure to leave a small piece of the sweet potato attached to the slip to encourage root growth. 
When planting sweet potato slips, it's important to handle them carefully to avoid damaging the delicate roots and stems. Dig a small hole or furrow in the center of each planting mound or row, deep enough to accommodate the roots of the sweet potato slip. Place the slip in the hole with the roots spread out and the stem protruding above the soil surface. Once all the sweet potato slips are planted, gently firm the soil around each plant to ensure good soil to root contact. Water the newly planted slips thoroughly to settle the soil and provide moisture for root growth. Keep the soil evenly moist but not waterlogged during the growing season to promote healthy sweet potato development. After planting, it's important to provide ongoing care to ensure the health and productivity of your sweet potato plants. Here are some essential care tips to keep in mind throughout the growing season. Sweet potatoes require consistent moisture throughout the growing season, especially during the initial stages of growth and when tubers are forming. Water the plants deeply and regularly, aiming to keep the soil evenly moist but not waterlogged. Mulching around the plants can help retain soil moisture and suppress weeds. Sweet potatoes are heavy feeders and benefit from regular fertilization throughout the growing season. Apply a balanced, all-purpose fertilizer according to the manufacturer's instructions, or use organic options such as compost or aged manure. Side dress the plants with fertilizer every four to six weeks, starting about a month after planting. Keep the area around your sweet potato plants free from weeds, which can compete with the plants for water, nutrients, and sunlight. Regularly hand pull weeds or use mulch to suppress weed growth and maintain a clean planting bed. As sweet potato plants grow, they produce long, sprawling vines that can benefit significantly from proper support. Without adequate support, these vines can become tangled and prone to diseases, reducing the overall yield of your crop. Installing trellises or stakes early in the growing season is a proactive measure to ensure the vines have the support they need. Trellises provide a vertical structure for the vines to climb, keeping them off the ground and minimizing the risk of damage from pests and diseases. Sturdy stakes placed strategically throughout the garden can also serve as anchor points for the vines. When installing trellises or stakes, ensure they are securely anchored into the ground to withstand the weight of the growing vines. Training the vines to climb the trellises or stakes can be achieved by gently guiding them as they grow. Tying the vines loosely to the support structure with soft twine or garden ties can encourage upward growth and prevent them from sprawling across the garden. Additionally, regularly pruning any excess growth can help keep the vines manageable and focused on producing healthy sweet potatoes. Supporting the vines not only improves air circulation around the plants, but also makes harvesting easier. Elevated vines are less likely to develop rot or pest infestations commonly associated with ground contact. By providing adequate support for your sweet potato vines, you'll promote healthier growth and maximize your harvest at the end of the growing season. It's essential to stay vigilant and monitor your sweet potato plants regularly for signs of common pests and diseases that can wreak havoc on your crop. Sweet potato weevils, flea beetles, and various fungal diseases, including fusarium wilt and root rot, are among the most notorious threats to sweet potato cultivation. Sweet potato weevils are particularly destructive as they tunnel into the tubers, causing extensive damage and making them inedible. Keep an eye out for small holes or tunnels in the sweet potato tubers, as these are telltale signs of weevil infestation. If you spot any signs of weevils, promptly remove and destroy the affected tubers to prevent further spread. Flea beetles are another common pest that can cause significant damage to sweet potato foliage by chewing small holes in the leaves. While adult flea beetles primarily target the foliage, their larvae can feed on the roots, leading to weakened plants and reduced yields. Inspect the undersides of leaves for signs of flea beetle. Feeding damage, such as small, shot hole-like injuries. Consider applying organic insecticides or employing physical barriers, such as row covers, to deter flea beetles from infesting your sweet potato plants. Fungal diseases like fusarium, wilt, and root rot can also pose serious threats to sweet potatoes, particularly in warm and humid conditions. Fusarium wilt causes yellowing and wilting of the leaves, eventually leading to plant death. Root rot, on the other hand, affects the tubers, causing them to become soft, discolored, and foul-smelling. To prevent fungal diseases, ensure proper soil drainage and avoid overwatering. Additionally, practice crop rotation and avoid planting sweet potatoes in the same area year after year to reduce the risk of disease buildup in the soil. If you notice any signs of pest infestation or disease development, 
it's crucial to take prompt action to prevent further damage to your sweet potato crop. Consider applying organic insecticides or fungicides as recommended by your local agricultural extension service or certified organic gardening resources. Implementing integrated pest management strategies, such as introducing beneficial insects or practicing companion planting, can also help keep pest populations in check while minimizing the use of chemical interventions. By staying proactive and vigilant, you can protect your sweet potato plants from pests and diseases and ensure a bountiful harvest at the end of the growing season. By following the steps outlined in this video, you can successfully grow your own sweet potatoes and enjoy a bountiful harvest. From selecting healthy sweet potato slips to caring for your plants throughout the growing season, each step is crucial to ensuring the best possible outcome. Remember to provide adequate water, fertilizer, and support for your sweet potato plants and be vigilant in monitoring for pests and diseases. With a little effort and patience, you'll soon be enjoying the delicious taste of homegrown sweet potatoes straight from your garden.